Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom view modifier in Swift UI. So let's say that we have some sort of a requirement that we need to add a banner or you can even say a watermark to our images. So the first thing I'm going to do is get an image. Now I have already added the image in the assets folder. I can simply go ahead and copy this. There we go. And let's see what the image looks like. Okay, that's kind of big. So let's go ahead and do resizable. And after that, we can create some sort of aspect ratio to fit. Perfect. Now, if I want to create something, I want to create like a small watermark right there on the bottom. What I would do is I can use an overlay with a particular alignment to the bottom. And we'll keep it simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the text. And let's go ahead and write the name of the author. There we go. And you can see it in the preview, but it's kind of hard to see also, right? Because it's just text. Maybe it will be a good idea to give it a little bit more frame. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the frame maximum width. And we haven't really created any view modifier yet. We're just trying to find out that if uh, we can create this particular watermark. Alignment will be leading. And let's go ahead and add padding. There we go. And finally, we can go ahead and add a background color. Background color is kind of up to you, whatever color that you want. I'm just going to go with simple gray color. And it looks like that. Now, this looks perfectly fine, but if we had to use the all this overlay or watermark on a separate image, on a completely different image, then I have to copy all of this code. What I can do is create some sort of a view modifier. So whenever I need to create a watermark, I will just say dot watermark and it will create that. And in Swift UI, you'll see that it's kind of quite simple to create these custom view modifiers. The first thing I'm going to do, and you can do this in a separate file, I'm going to create a watermark or whatever the name of your view modifier is. I'm going to say this is a view modifier. And one function that you need to implement uh, is the body. So let's go ahead and do the body. And now we have access to the content. So this is the actual view on which it is called. And I can actually go ahead and copy all of the code that I have written and paste it there and call it on the content. Okay, that looks fine. In order to use this, the easy way would be to perform some sort of a extension. I'll show you. We can create an extension on the view. And the extension, we can call it, you can call it anything, but I'm just going to call it watermark. And it's going to return you some view. And now the modifier that we want to add is a custom modifier that we just created. The reason we're creating this extension watermark is that we can now easily call this by simply saying watermark. And you can see that the result is exactly the same. But the problem with this watermark is, well, it will always display the particular name, Christoph Rolando. Uh, I don't want to change the name. Okay, so this means that we can go ahead and pass in the text to the watermark. And this can also pass the text to the watermark view modifier, like that. And we will update our watermark over here so that it can support a text. Now you can pass in anything more. I mean, if you have more stuff to pass, you can definitely do that, like the background color or something. But now I can actually call watermark and I can put anything in there. So I can say, hello world. So it gives me a little bit more, uh, you can say freedom to change the text of the watermark, as you can see, because I might need this for this particular image. I might need like hello world, but for other images, I might need something else. So this is how you will create a simple custom view modifier in Swift UI. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I actually just published a brand new course which is called the MV design pattern. This is the way that Apple is advocating 
Apple is building their apps, so definitely check this course out. I also have courses for augmented reality using Reality Kit, MVVM design pattern for UI kit apps, Swift UI mastering, RX Swift, Core Data, and so many more. So definitely check out these courses. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. The links to all of these courses are right there in the YouTube description. Thank you so much.